still doing all right, aren't they? Uh, Martin Odegaard, <laughs> talking about Bukayo Saka, of course, who scored uh, in the opener. Brilliant goal and provided the assist to Havertz as well. Uh, for the first saying there's no roof for this guy it's unbelievable the quality that he has and how professional he is how much he loves the game and how much he puts into it every day the sky is the limit for him Arteta goes even further but Kaya has an unbelievable action to score the 2-0 with good players it's like that with Messi I know he's going to come in and do that but you can't stop him to that point Frank we've seen it before we've seen Saka score this sort of goal before when he cuts inside and then of course whips the shot in as a defender, why isn't it easier to stop? Because you always think that uh, it's too obvious that he will, won't do it again, and you will expect him to go maybe on the on the on your left side. And, but he does it again. It takes, you know, he knows he's very smart because he doesn't go close to the defender. He stays like two yards away. Like that, he has the possibility to to curve the ball and to do whatever he wants. I mean, the defender facing him. He, hasn't, he doesn't have the time to go close to him. He's very clever in that matter, and uh, he's technically perfect because he can put on the, on the far post, on the near post. It's not a problem for him. He's very accurate. There's nothing much to do. I, I mean, those players, uh, you, we had so many players like that. Remember uh, Thierry Henry on the other mm -hmm. side, coming from the other side? Uh, Mbappé also, when he, put, when he was at Paris Saint-Germain last season, uh, it's, it's almost impossible to, to cope with those players unless you are two or three players around him. But one against one, well, you know, you have to bow and say, well done, sir. <laughs> I, I don't think it swings around as well. Yeah, I mean, I look, look, where are we? Uh, we've just finished the first match weekend yes. of the Premier League and La Liga, uh, for us anyway. And I don't think it's a news to anybody that Bukayo Saka is a very, very good mm. player. But, but, but let's not get carried away here. You know, he's got his manager out talking about, yep. you know, he's making statements about, you know, <laughs> making a difference like Messi. And, you know, well, it's always nice for your teammates to blow smoke up your backside like Martin Odegaard is. At the end of the day, he has to do it as he's done before at times, consistently, over a regular basis. If Arsenal are going to win the league, they need Saka at this level for much of the season. Absolutely. And yes, he, did, he, did he play a lot of games? Has he played a lot of games? Yes, he has. Does he get kicked a lot? Maybe more than others because that's the kind of player he is and he's prepared to take the ball in in tight positions and defenders have started to get tight to him. He takes his studs down the back of the calves. He gets a lot of stick. He gets all that. And he does try and pick himself up and get on with it. I'll give him credit for that. I'm a fan. I think he's a terrific player. But we're, he's had a good start to the season. Arsenal have won a game that they were expected to win. He scored a terrific goal. But there's a lot to go on before we start uh, getting carried away here about one player. Uh, well, could he win the PFA award uh, this season? <laughs> what? Well, for some reason, the PFA awards were tonight. It's, and uh, Phil Foden won Player of the Year. Cole Palmer won Young Player of the Year. The internet is very upset because the best 11 was announced and Cole Palmer is not in the best 11. You take a look, it's a Harlan, Folan, Watkins uh, front three with Odegaard, Rodri and Rice uh, playing behind. Um, uh, Shaka, you know, why is it being announced now? I know he's there. What's going on? <laughs> and how much sleep will you lose that Cole Palmer's not in the 11? Uh, none. Right. Is the short answer to that. I mean, listen, I... I, I I, I don't understand a lot of these awards. What, what, what's the criteria? Yeah. How well, the PFA awards is you and I uh, and Frank when he was... Yeah, but it was, it was never players, in... players vote, yeah. don't they? Right, yeah. it was never and in so, August. And how much thought did you give when you voted for these? Me, none. Right. I, I, I made this point a, a long time ago. Well, certain players won't vote for certain players if you don't like a player. OK. That's why the, you never got... The year Manchester no, I United... I finished second in the PFA player. Oh, did you, Craig? Well, it was a big surprise for me to get second. <laughs> wow. Because I, I'd, I'd had a fight with enough people to finish, <laughs> to finish <laughs> last. Well but oh. I did win the Football Writers uh, oh, Award that who, won the, who beat you in the PFA? Uh, Jackie McNamara, right. uh, my Celtic teammate, who's the nicest man on the planet. Uh. And had a great, had a love, he had a great season. Uh, but I don't know, as you say, so it's voted for by the players. Yeah. But these awards are getting nuttier and nuttier. I mean, as you said... The timing of these things. Yes. I think there's just so many of them now, people just go, oh. Oh, oh. We know LeBeouf's opinion. We don't even need to do that, do we? Uh, who cares? Who cares about this? It's not an individual <laughs> sport. Yeah.
Uh, it is a team game. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. The, 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 yeah, but the, 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 the squad, the team of the year, I like it. I didn't know oh. that Saliba was playing left back. I thought that was the first <laughs> news. <laughs> and, and I thought it was crazy. Uh, you know, so when you, when you start like that, you're already wrong. When you see yes. Saliba on the left side, you see, uh, well, Van Dijk was better than Saliba. Okay, who saw that during the, the, the season? You know, crazy. Saliba should be the first on, as a CB. But whatever, you know, player of the year, young player of the year, you know what I think about that. I like the, the, the team of the year, I like it, because he's normally huh. reward the best player in his position. Yeah, I don't have any problem with that, because that's only fair to the player who play in their position. But right now, because I see Saliba being the best left back of the Premier League, you got all wrong, my man. I don't know who decided that. You know, when I voted yeah. for the players, because we had to vote, I put the 11 Chelsea players. Of there course. There you go. Perfect. It's really I hated not the others. Yet, Even Shaka didn't uh, get it. Well, that hasn't stopped us in the past, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Uh, let's just confirm, <laughs> away from the PFA Awards, uh, what's going on in the transfer market over the last... 24 hours. We've obviously got some uh, confirmed signings for quite a lot of money as well. Joachim Anderson is set to join <laughs> Fulham from Palace for 30 million. Uh, Broker making the move uh, to Ipswich on loan. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Mohamed Ashavilia uh, will be linked to Liverpool. Ooh. Hey, I know. I'm just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> so good. they're not going to. They're obviously not going to say. So this will not happen until still next still season. Still well, well. Uh, he'll be on loan in theory. Uh, in oh, I wasn't really too interested in that. Uh, I was more season. thinking about. Uh, Joachim Anderson because all the talk has been right the Gavin Jules podcast <laughs> <laughs> because Mark, they're going to sell Mark Gay to Newcastle so they've got no centre halves we don't need this nonsense <laughs> oh there's Don <laughs> podcast <laughs>